in the building. Street executives. Technique. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Young Brink. You're tuning in to the number one music show in the Mid-South. The number Brink one TV. show. That's right. Now, right now, we got a special friend of mine, one of my big homies, one of my inspirations. Rich Kim homies. Kia <laughs> What's going on with you, dog? What's going on with you, man? You all right? Hey, man, I'm good. First of all, um, thank you for coming on my show. Man, thank you so much for having me, man, and giving me a soapbox to be able to speak to the people. I believe, like, every opportunity to be able to promote yourself as an artist or a producer, as a CEO... You know, you should do that. And I've been seeing you doing your thing with the TV show. And, you know, you've been running strong, man. And, and props to you, man, of keep, keeping an avenue for the underdogs to be able to have an opportunity to be able to speak through to. And it's amazing that you say an underdog because, you know, you truly have been an underdog. Indeed, indeed. And myself, you know what I mean? I consider myself an underdog. You know, even though, you know, we always get these good looks and good opportunities yeah, yeah, like but just on the news the other day i saw you exactly. on the news for something good exactly Seriously. But, but still you know we we underdogs you know what yeah. i'm saying especially as far as the united states and the world concerned you know yeah. what i mean because you got the bigger bigger yeah. names but hey we about to be bigger names listen indeed man everybody sleeping on us gonna wake up working for us is what that's i always right. say that's right now Seriously. one thing i want to talk about first and foremost you got the single out popular right oh yeah the popular record that's um with me and sahari the kid and um k camp that record's doing a lot a lot of noise right now, a lot of momentum with it. It's um playing about twenty two markets. We just started to break the record. Atlanta's on it heavy, Memphis is on it heavy, and um there's a video in the works. So shout out to Sahari and K Kim. That was a good feature for them to, to pull me on and um you know, and then the record is definitely starting um to react in the clubs and in the streets and it's gonna be on my new uh project that I got coming out for July fourth. Um, so, you know, you can look out for that. Okay, you got a, a title for the project yet? Or what? Yeah, it's going to be no doughs, no ceilings, and no feelings. Okay. You know now, tell us a little bit about the producers that you got on this project. Um, but as you know myself, you know, I definitely am a producer in source, but I definitely am featuring work from uh, Dirty Fresh, who produced it, Respect My Fresh, and not right, me everywhere, right. and Stone of Frames and all that. Of course, I got the home team on it, him and Tommy Rich is on it. But uh, I got Ready DG, who I feel like is one of the dopest new producers that's coming out. Out of Atlanta, and um, and um, you know, I found Drummer Boy, and you know, he has that same kind of feel to him. And we got a record called King Tut, right? And we getting ready to drop on everybody's head. This is stupid, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but um, basically, the most of the production is in house, you know. Um, you know, I've, I've remained profitable throughout the years, just been able to keep you know everything in house, you know, been able to keep the production, the writing, and then the ability to be able to break it on radio and video. and and, and, and tour it without having you know, anyone else to be a part of it. So right. we just kind of keeping everything in house. You know what I mean? That rap hustle movement is still, you know, it's that 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 game plan, that blueprint is still what we is what we live by. You know? And it's it's amazing you mentioned rap hustle because I can remember the first time I seen you guys. You know, was the Life DVD. Yeah. And you guys put on in a major way for the city. And I. To be honest, man, I, I consider you like the Diddy of Memphis. You know what I mean? You I see appreciate how, that, man. You see, how Diddy, you see how Diddy, you know what I mean, did for New York. You know what I mean? Yeah. And really put on in a major way. And I, yeah. I see you doing the same thing. And one thing I want to talk about, you have a ex insane networking ability. Like, I ain't never seen before. You know what I, I mean? appreciate that, man. Thank what you. was your first job? My first job actually was at Chick Fil A in the Hickory Ridge Mall. Oh when yeah. The mall was open. I used to work out at Chick Chick Fil A. Yeah. They fired me because you got free food when you was young. Yeah. You know, free food when you worked there. Right, and, right. And I was like 14. I took all the free food home to my family because we was hurting. You know what I'm saying? I so feel I think you. After, after, after about a couple of months of that, and me taking all the food out of there, they, they, they tried to fire me. But I always believe early that uh, you know you got to be able to speak. You know, you know, closed mouth don't get fed. So you got to be able to speak what you want into existence, and you got to be able to meet people, and you can have a lot of inferiority complex. You got to be able to really talk for yourself, and um, and I saw that early that that, that got me far. So I um I took that same grind in New York, and um and uh and made money. 
right. off of that network because I believe your network is your net worth. Right. You know what I mean? So you network to increase your net worth and you follow up to get your dollars up. That's right. You that's know? right. And, 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 that's what, and that's what we do out here because that next blessing, God, he'll create something brand new for you sometime to get you that money. But the next blessing really comes through people. Right, right. So it's right. about networking with people to get that blessing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And another thing, like you're notorious for having these Big singles, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Big singles, like yeah. I can remember, like you said, the respect my fresh. I be everywhere, wow, you know crispy, what I mean? Yeah. Like crispy, like Checking so many. Fresh. Like, what? What does your inspiration yeah. come from? Um, I, I'm a single. That's what I do. I make singles, like you know what I mean? I'm, I'm you know, before mixtapes or whatever was going on, like you know, we put out whole albums on the rap hustlers, but like you know, whole albums on Gotti, Skinny, Lil Chad, all the you know, Gangsta Blast, Skinny Pimp, uh, Criminal Man, Mr. N. You know, Ken Folk, Street Wars, you know, all that. Like, it was about putting out whole albums. Right. You know, and now people put out mixtapes. But the thing about it is, as a, if you're an artist out there listening to me right now, the quickest way from zero to 60 in the rap game is to have a hit single. Okay. Now, okay. will you stay popping? That remains if you continue to come up with, if you, can, if you have the ability to make more than one single right. that people know. But single is the quickest way to get people onto what you're doing. Right. So to me, it's like if I'm going to come into the game, I can drop. You can drop mixtapes. Nothing wrong with dropping mixtapes. Right. Right. But the single is what get by gets, gets the audience and the awareness on what you got going. So exactly. I always focus on what the money would be. Right. So right. Singles, you know, just like the popular single, it's a great single. You right. Know what I'm and, then, and 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 it gets momentum going, gets people back on Kia Shine's brand. And then I'm able to come out with more records. So, you know, it's, it's really about the single. The single what pays you. Right. You know? one, one question I do have for you now, with you being, like I say, a pioneer in Memphis music, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, you, yeah. you came out at a time where the music scene was different. You know what I mean? Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm young, but I remember the different eras of Memphis music. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I remember the Lock Em In The Trunk era. I remember Weaky. the Tether Club Up era. You know what I'm saying? And then the whole... Like TV zone stunt, was like, you know what I'm saying? See, the, the TVs and the rap hustle situation is more of swag. Right, right, like, right. Like we felt like Memphis, Memphis is definitely hard. Memphis yeah. is Memphis is definitely street, and Memphis is definitely soulful. But Memphis is also very swaggerful. Right. And I, and, and I felt like that part of Memphis wasn't being shown. Like, exactly. You know, we wasn't just the at the time when I started coming out hustling flow and that whole look was what everybody was pushing right but the fly stuff like you know what I mean nobody was it's like we were selling beer right but nobody wanted to sell the Memphis champagne exactly so I exactly. felt like I could come with that champagne you know what I mean and bring more of that fly give money Memphis swagger to the plate you know what I mean and you know and, and I know my D boys and my street folks listening to me right now they stay in the polos and clothes and all that exactly that's, that's a part of Memphis culture right you know, we've been fly we've been fresh so I wanted to bring that to the forefront. And it's just amazing to me how, like, if you if you actually watching this interview and you go look it back and you look back to 05, 06, 07, and you look at the styles of the dress, yeah. hair, shoes, when I'm rocking the glitter nights and right, stuff right, like that, before right. the Louboutin was doing exactly. it. You know what I'm saying? Before uh, Jim Jones had the SoCrispy.com, we know where SoCrispy came from. But I mean, like, you know, even before the people were wearing the dress down, and right, wearing the right. crinkle look like cash out or two chains or these right. or whatever, like that style came from. I was one of the first people doing that. That's you know true. Saying? Like, and just come with that swag music, period. Even going way back to TVs, Icy White. That's true. You know, and, and, and that kind of music, because we were just more about, we get money, so we're going to put the swag into it and put that fly Memphis demeanor to it. So. You know, and then that swag music. I remember Vibe magazine when they rated Do Season, my album I put out on Universal. Right, they, right. They, 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 they cracked on me about having swag music. Like, what are you trying to start? But then, like, after they came out with it, everybody was swag. Exactly. Why, you know, so they ran swag into the crown. Next. One thing I want to go ahead and do now, you know what I mean? Like, depending on what circle your name is mentioned in, like I say, some circles it may be legendary, you know what I mean? Some circles it may be pioneer, you know what I mean? As I said, Diddy of my city. But in other circles, you may get adjectives like shyster or snake or, you know what I mean, con artists. What I want to do right now, I want to give you an opportunity to clarify your name you know what i'm saying because like i say in my opinion you're a hustler you know what i mean you get money and if people don't but you know it, it, I mean? it's not just really about getting money it's really about like 
here's the thing. Right. Jay Z is a, a half a billionaire. Right, right. But yet I still find people who find a, find a nerd to say things about, I don't mess with Jay Z. Exactly, exactly. But he only half a billion dollars. Right. LeBron James, a great basketball player, two time NBA champion. Right. Yet I still have people that tell me every day that they don't think LeBron is, is the thing. Exactly. If a million people love you, there's a million people that hate you. It just depends who you ask that day. Right, right. Um, the con artist, Shiesty, and all that or whatever, like, like, here's the thing, man. Like, you know, you can say what you want to. You call me what you want to, but you're going to call me about that money. Exactly. Um, you know, as far as if I, try to, I try to do business on a professional level, on, on, on a high level. You know, I compete on a high level when it comes to music, when it comes to business. Right. You know, you get some people who understand the business. Right. And, and then they go out and they say, he's trying to do this. And exactly. Like, but you don't, just because you don't understand the business. One thing I learned about you, you know what I mean? You're big on paperwork. Yeah, like and it's business, it's paperwork, it's and, money. And that's where they and that's where they and, and they a lot misunderstand. Of people, they, 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 they can say what you want to, but make sure the check is made out to Nakia Coleman. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. at the end of the day, like, it's about the business. This is the music business. This is not just about the music. It's about the business. A lot of you people out there who say the negative things don't know the business. Right, right. So you have to be on your business in order to be able to relate and conduct business with me. Read. You know what I mean? So, Read. You know, but I don't take time with the negative. Right, right. If you take your time and tap into the negative, you will pull down into it. I, 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 my thing is about positive energy and chemistry, exactly. man. Like, exactly. You know, I've been doing this 16 years. Right, right. So I feed my family and my kids. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is like, I'm the God is blessing me to continue to do it. So, you know, if 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 the things that the negative people say were true, I wouldn't be able to keep doing what I'm doing. That's true. That's true. So you know, I speak with my actions. Right. I don't do nothing but hush. Right. I just right. hustle until something happens. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that's what I do. Yeah, and I still for everybody sleeping on me, gonna wake up working for me. I just continue to keep working. You know, from being a writer, producer, radio host, to being a consultant, to being an artist. You know, to you know, just like it's it's about business and being a businessman and, and, and putting good energy and chemistry out there. On none of my records am I telling you to go rob, kill, steal, sell dope and all that. I'm not telling you that. Right, right. With my music and what I represent, you follow me, it's all positive. It's all positive family, feeding families with this music. Right, right. Kinfo, you right. know what I'm saying? That's what's going on, like breaking generational curses. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like actually doing something to 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 change the lives of others, right? And and and, and if, if you want to be great, you got to ask yourself, who have you made great? Right, right. So look at my resume, okay, Yo Gotti. No matter go. what, no matter what the situation, I gave him life. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Literally with that life CD. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, and and then Five Star Chick, which was my producer, High Rod, right, right, and he right. signed was signed to me. You know, I ate off that record, but. You know, it's like like trauma boy, Chris, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I started selling beats of his when I was in New York. Right, right. You know, going to make money for him. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these people that are on right now, you know, all the artists that that I've I've I, I can name all the checks that I've gotten for other artists in Memphis. Right, right. All the all the money I've made for other people. Right. So, you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, the comments is just not necessary when, right, when right. I look at my track record and see how many things I've helped and how many people that I've helped out of the city and it's be great. It's kind of like how you said, you know, if, if, if things were true, then you wouldn't still be. I didn't want you know to still be around. Exactly. But One around. thing I always say, my motto is make something, ha I mean, make something out of nothing. And that's something that you definitely did. My dad you know told me that before he passed, man. He, you know, he passed, my dad and my mom passed the cancer over the last two years. Right. And and in that, was one thing he told me was very proud of me of, just been able to make something out of nothing. Exactly. You know, I'm, from, exactly. I'm from Fraser, man. I'm from Greenbrier. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, the, 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 making somebody yourself with music is like a lottery almost. Right, you know right. What I'm saying? So it's like to be able to do it repeatedly, and, and, and make some out of myself, man. I mean, like, you know, to me, you know, I've already won. You know what exactly, I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. You know, so I just kind of look at it like that, but I continue to want to rep the city and, and, and put a positive life out there and, and just be able to, like, really bring another brand and bring other people up in, in the process. So I've always tried to help my city and, you know, and, um, and you know, anybody that say anything different or whatever. You know? Like you really a hater. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, honestly. so this goes out to everyone with your negative thoughts and opinions about Kia Shine. 
You can forget it. You see, the, you know what I'm saying? This I guy mean, is really know, putting just, on. Just put, just, just, just put the, just do the research. You know, just look at the numbers and look at what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like so, when I look at that, I just say, you know, I just got more work to do. I'm thankful that I'm not where I was. Right, right. But I'm right. not yet where I want to be. Right. So we acting. We got consulting companies. We consulting. You know what I mean? We helping the younger dudes come up and get they and get their money. You know what I'm saying? And, and you gonna talk to a couple young guys tonight. Is doing their thing, is on the way up or whatever, like, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm, I'm always bringing checks to people in Memphis. You know, a lot of checks y'all don't even know about, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things that you don't know about, but I'm always, yeah. when, you, when I call your phone, it's going to be about some business and about some money. That's right. You know what I mean? You ask the dog, you ask any of these guys out here that's, that's doing it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what I'm about. And, and, and they see it. It's about speaking with my actions and, and making money and making moves and connecting these dots. And that's what I do out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, you mentioned acting. Now, when we go see a Kid Shine movie, man, I got to see something. Listen, you're going to see a sitcom first. Okay. I play a producer named Deuce. It's called Gals. It's coming out next year. I'm going to leak the joint. You know what I'm saying? I might even send you the clip so you can make sure you can show the clip of me acting to everybody. Y'all can see me clipped it. I'm going to let y'all see this yeah. clip of me acting in this new sitcom. Terry Vaughn is in it. A lot of famous black actors is in it. Y'all will see me doing my thing in that. You know, but like on top of that, you know, I'm just I'm just being a dad and being a father, you know, just having a new baby. Right, I mean, right. Shout out to to um to um Jordan Kingston, my new my, my he's six, seven weeks old. Congratulations. You know, shout man. out to, to Jameson, he's three, Jordan, he's six. Excuse me, Jackson who's six. Jackson, Jameson, Jordan, choose one. Nicholas, you know what I'm saying, and my son. You gonna have a, a Jackson Five, man? What's got, up? Then, then I got, then I got, then I got Kennedy too. She in, she in Memphis, so you know, we just feeding family through this music, man. You know what I mean? Just get to it, man. Just being blessed. Big day, big day, man. Like I say, man, the Facebook, the Twitter, Instagram, all that gets on. Listen, hit me up at my. You know, I got a new deal on the new name. Y'all go about to hear about this thing. It's called Pharaoh Belafonte. Pharaoh. Pharaoh, you know, that's what we own, man. Like, you know, we was a Pharaoh mind state, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Pharaoh Belafonte, it's like some crossover top 40 music. Um, the tape comes out July 4th, Queen Things, you know what I'm saying? Pharaohs and festivals comes out July 4th. But then Kia Shine's dropping, you know, ceilings, no, no doors, no ceiling, no feelings, July 4th, too. So you have all those. You got me being like crossover me. With being Pharaoh Belafonte, okay. and you got Kia Shine, so you got both of those things coming. But Dirty Shirley is the first video from Pharaoh Belafonte. I'm gonna give it to you. Most you can drop it on there, let y'all see some different music, because I'm going into different lanes and different genres with the, with the thing. But um, at the same time, we you know we doing Kia Shine too, and um, you know I got several features coming out with that. Y'all hear about this record, King Tech, Popular's out there, uh, bounce that ass with um SMG. A lot of good records y'all about to be hearing for the summertime. So, you know, you see me out there riding around with no doors and no ceilings in that Jeep, oh, going down yeah. the street or whatever, man. But, you know, it's just, um, you know, we, we working, man. We working and we being blessed. You know, Dirty Fresh got his project coming out. You got Tone Yates doing his thing on the producing and also the studio and all that, too. So, and he got his, he got his She Mad single going. You know, I, I'm, I'm still affiliated with everything that's coming up out of Memphis. You know, whether it's getting them on my radio show and getting right, them played. Right. Or like, you know, again, that's Sunday deals. nights, right? That's Monday nights and Monday, every night. Monday okay. seven PM to midnight. You okay. can watch me you can listen to me on High One O Seven every Monday night, seven PM to midnight. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. So, you know, it's just you know, your kid folk out here working and making moves, making making power plays and, and just, you know, just you know, saying grind different day. I can't take a day off, I want the payoff, man. You know what I'm saying? So we we out here. That's what it is. And another thing I gotta say, man, you need to be a motivational speaker. I, I hope I motivate the people to, to get out there and, like, you know, and, and do something with your life because at the end of the day, you can say what you want about me, but for 16 years I've been making money out of music and doing what I love to do. That's right. Doing that's right. what my dream is, you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in, in a lot of people that's, that make comments don't really actually do what they love to do. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? You're not fulfilling your dream. You're not fulfilling your thing. So, you know, but we're going to we talk about that. The positive people out there that's watching Bring TV. That's right. And it's important. Him as an underdog and his TV show, watching every week, getting his numbers up, and just supporting somebody that's trying to do something that they believe in. Memphis needs to be able to stop with the negativity and stop more positive, being more positive. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem out here. Like, everybody's so negative and ready to just not help somebody when it's like, you know, you can't you can't get anything in your hand if you got it closed. You got to, like, right. 
give a hand, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what I always do. I've been able to assist the city of Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I support the town. I was at Freeway today, yeah. e, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I support the city, you know what I'm saying? Also, there's a TV show that's going to be coming here by BT Centric. We're going to be filming next in July. It's going to be a whole two-hour music special about Memphis, and I'm executive producing that okay. with BT and BT Centric. So look out for that, too. You know, we make big moves. We make power plays. But at the same time, we keep it humble so we won't fumble. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? We, right. we, we keep it our level because without y'all, it ain't no me. Without opportunities like your TV station right, right. doing what you doing, your channel doing what you doing, your show doing what you doing, people don't get a chance to see the real deal. That's true. You know, That's so true. we I appreciate you and the soapbox to be able to speak to the people of Memphis and your viewers that, that respect here, Shine Fresh. You know, I'm going to keep being there where, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, and and, and we're going to keep being blessed like we be blessed and staying fresh like we be fresh. And everybody sleeping on it's gonna make it working for us. And I gotta get that eye right, just one time, man. I can vote. It is you indeed, know what I'm man. Indeed. Continue to support the big homie. Like I say, I support him. You know what I mean? Wholeheartedly. Thank you so much, man. Hey, thank you for coming on my show.